uh, just my own words. Uh, I, I, I didn't really know what to say because it, it was just, it, it started like any ordinary day. Uh, I'm a writer, so uh, I, I'm up at the crack of dawn to work. I got you, babe. And then it was a hard day, actually. I mean, just constant work. Then uh, I, I like to cook, so uh, early evening, I was just getting dinner ready, and, and, and that's, that's when I saw it. Hello, I'm William Gallagher, and this is 58 Keys, which, as forever, is about how writers like you and me can get more from our Macs, from our iPhones, from our iPads. Do subscribe. By the way, there is so much to talk about. And this time, so much to talk about the app Reader 5. And this just makes me happy. L last night, I was waiting for the oven to preheat, OK? And as I do so many times a day, I read some news. Um, lately, actually, I've been using Apple News Plus a lot. And, and that's good. There's a lot to recommend there. But always, and I mean for so very many years, I read most in an app called Reader. Let me be specific. Last night, I was reading articles in an app called Reader 4, and the headline I read was that Reader 5 was out. I bought it that instant. $4.99 on iOS, it's one app for both the iPhone and iPad, sold. Then from my couch, I remote controlled this Office Mac to buy the Mac OS version. Again, immediately. It hadn't finished downloading my iPhone, I had started putting my iPad, I didn't know what the new features were. I only now spent $9.99 for the Mac version, so that's a total of 15 about 15 uh, before the preheating was done before i had read a word further than the headline that is how good reader is so let me show you what it does um, i should say uh, you, your mileage may vary uh, not i think about whether the app is great or not but whether it's of use to you but i i offer that uh, for us as writers it's a fantastic way of keeping up with topics you're interested in uh, plus diving into new ones you're researching. It's because Reader is a news reading app. It's an RSS news reading app. Any decent website of any kind, really not just news, just anything, will have an RSS feed, what's called an RSS feed. Anytime that site publishes something new, its list is updated. And what Reader and lots of other apps like this do is uh, you open up that app, it pops off to look up all of those lists you've told it about. If there's something new on it, something that wasn't on there last time, it'll show you that in a list, it'll show you the headlines. In the app, you, you read the headline, you read the headline in Reader. You want to go further, you tap on that, and you can read at least the start of the full article. You want more, you can tap again, and then either you read the whole article right there, gorgeously laid out in Reader, or if the new site doesn't play quite so nice, well, you stay in Reader, but it launches like a web browser, so you go to that site's website. That's it. I mean, OK, there's more, but that's it, and that's enough. In general, I mean, day to day, I've got it down to about 20 websites that I always read, but there are times when it's a lot more. When I'm researching something, there could easily be 100. Now, rather than my going to each site individually and having to uh, check for myself whether or not there's anything new, Rather than my going to 20 or 100 or more websites, Reader goes for me. I open up Reader, it shows me what's new, we're done. As I say, there are many such RSS Reader apps, but Reader, it's long been particularly good for lots of reasons. Uh, I find it fast. I'm waiting for the kettle, I read the news. It's also, it's a pleasure to read. I mean, really, websites, you know, they vary enormously and some are truly ugly. But everything is gorgeously readable in Reader. It is a genuine pleasure to read. Plus, you can organise uh, websites into folders. Uh, so, for instance, I have one I just call Quick News, which I solely have BBC News and the New York Times in. If I'm in a real hurry, just read those. Done for the day. Reader 5 does all that. And uh, I think Reader 5 does it even more gorgeously. I also feel that I'm gushing. I'm definitely rushing. Let me pause for a second. Once you have it set up, Reader 5 is fantastic for research, for general news, general news, and it's also how I relax. Uh, I have articles from design websites. I don't think I ever need those for work, not so far, but I do for fun. Uh, lots of music ones as well. 
I remember uh, just after the App Store came out in, uh, what, would that have been 2008? There was a, this thing called an RSS uh, newsreader. It was an app called uh, Manifesto. And I loved it. It went straight on the front page. It's it's long gone now, I mean, from the App Store, I think, and definitely from my phone, because Reader is better than replaced it. But there it is, Reader is on the front page. RSS News front page never moves. So what have we learned, apart from the fact that my Mac bleeps occasionally, even though I've got Do Not Disturb on? We've learned that I read a lot. We've learned, well, so do you. You're a writer. You read all the time. We've learned that Reader 5 is perfect. Pretty much. There are all of these apps, all of these RSS newsreader apps, very similar. They have differences in how they present articles, differences in price, uh, differences in what you can do with an article once you've read it. But they also all have a problem, including Reader. So I, said, I was very careful to say that once you've set it up, Reader is great. Setting up RSS can be fiddly. Not, I don't mean in our Reader 5 on its own, all of them are. And yet Reader 5, it takes away one of the fiddles. Okay, here's the thing. Uh, I said that all good websites have an RSS newsfeed, and this is true. What you have to do, though, is find them and then sync them. Syncing is really important. Uh, I use Reader on my iPhone, my iPad, my Mac, just whichever's nearest. If I've just read 100 websites on my iPhone, I do not want to turn to the iPad and see the dozens, hundreds, sometimes actually thousands of articles I've just read there again on the iPad. And then I turn to my Mac. I don't want to see them all over again. So you've needed a service, a syncing service. And there are many of these. Some are free, some are not. There are advantages, there are disadvantages to them all. But what every one of them does is keep your list of news sites and articles in sync. Read an article on your iPhone, it's gone from your iPad. Finding these syncing services has been part of the fiddle, fiddliness of it. I also don't think they're especially easy to set up, but then, you know, equally you do it once. It's eight years since I last did it. It's fine. Reader supports many of these services. I'm going to carry on using the one I have because I don't want to fiddle again. But Reader 5 also now includes its own. It uses iCloud. With iCloud and Reader 5, your Mac, iPad and iPhone stay in sync. Read an article on the Mac, it's gone from your iPhone, unless you want to keep it. And that really is the biggest fiddly part of RSS that Reader 5 has removed. There's one small little fiddly part, but, but actually in this case, I think Reader's been good at this for years. It's how you find all these websites with RSS feeds. You do this, open Reader, go to its top level, uh, click the plus icon and then type in or paste a website address. If you're lucky, Reader will just go find the RSS feed for that site. And if it does, it'll tell you that. And it might offer you one or two options for subscribing to this day. I can't remember what the difference is. So just click on, ah, click on the first one. Be done with it. If you're not so lucky, then Reader will tell you, can't find any RSS feeds on that site. And it may be that there isn't one. I used to read The Onion site a lot every day through its RSS feed. But The Onion website wants you to go directly to its site and see its adverts direct. So they switched off their RSS feed a couple of years ago. I hardly ever go there now. Uh, but it could also just be that the RSS feeds on a site are a little bit hidden. So do this. Go to Google, type RSS site colon, and then without a space, type in the site's address. So RSS site colon BBC Co UK. Hit return and with luck and a following wind, you'll find a research result that tells you about that site's RSS feeds. And if it does, it will include the address or addresses to feed, to paste into feeder. I mean, look, if that sounds a bit tortuous, a bit fiddly, yeah, yeah. But it's a year since I've added one uh, to my site. You add it, you keep it, it's great. I mean, I cannot, I have read hundreds of thousands of articles this way over the last 10 years or more. Two more things that are very specifically about Reader 5, this newer version of this new app that I think help us as writers. Um, two kind of last things that are new to this version I think are particularly useful. I've told you that I read a lot. Uh, I also read very quickly. Uh, so I can use Reader when I've uh, got a spare minute. I can definitely use it waiting for that kettle. But very often you'll find an article and you do not have time to read it right then. 
or you find one that's perfect for the book you're researching and you don't want to lose it. Reader has a built-in read it later service. See an article you like, save it. And what's more, this is so good, you can do that from outside Reader. You're in Safari, uh, you're in Chrome, or you're reading Apple News Plus. You see an article you want to keep, you can save it directly from Safari or Chrome or Apple News or anywhere else. You can save it directly into Reader where you can read it later. That's actually how I stock up on long reads before breaks or holidays. It's also how you can collate research. And the other thing, the one last thing I want to leave you with unless I remember something else, is how you can now organise that research. And that's new in, in Reader 5. You can, once you've saved something, once you've popped an article in Reader's Read It Later section, you can then tag it. Uh, this article is for fun. Uh, this article is for that book. Uh, this one's also, that one's about maths, that one's about agriculture, any combination of this. You can tag things and sort them and organise them. You are going to do this. You're going to use Reader 5 so much. You are going to fill Reader 5 with articles, and why wouldn't you? I'll tell you this now. You know I am not kidding that the instant, the instant I saw there was a new version of Reader, I bought it. But I've also run up to tell you about it here. I know I'll find more as I poke around in the next weeks and months and years, but I had to tell you right now. Writing and reading apps, it is fantastic that we have these tools and that they are so good. Oh, I did. I, did, I thought of another one. I did think of another one. Uh, this is so good as well. Reader 5 for, for iPhone and iPad, not Mac yet, it, it supports widgets. Uh, so, you know, I said I can read articles while I'm making tea. Fine, flick through it, read them. But now I can also just glance at my iPhone and read the top two headlines any time. Please tell me you get as much pleasure out of reading and writing tools as I do. Um, and in this case, um, I've already told you that the joint iPhone and iPad version, it's £4.99 in the UK. It's $4.99 in the US. And the Mac version is £9.99 or $9.00 USS. Uh, to get the iPhone and iPad one, go to the App Store. To get the Mac one, go to the Mac App Store. And you can read more about all of this on the official Reader site, which is readerapp.com. And by the way, if you don't have time to read that, you can save it for later, can't you? That's it for 58 Keys this time. Thank you for letting me share this with you. Really done so. We just, it makes me so happy. And, and, and it makes me want to run up to you like a puppy and show you this latest thing. It's brilliant. You've got to do the same to me. Do you, comments, that's what they're for. Do check out Reader 5. I hope you enjoy it at least as much as I do. And thanks for watching 58 Keys. Uh, do subscribe. It helps me hugely. And take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you soon.